Dr. Kamar Shima, and I'm thrilled to have with me Mr. Sajid Tare, uh, who is uh, working with the Republican Party in the United States, and uh, he has been very close to the former U.S. President, Mr. Donald Trump. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Sajid Tare, for your time for my YouTube channel. My pleasure. Thank you, Shima. So, Mr. Sajid, the, the most important topic of which is being uh, being played across the American media and international media is uh, Nancy Pelosi's visit to Taiwan. So how do you see this visit? Uh, and uh, we have seen that, that there's a lot of who and cry. Uh, and uh, many people are saying that this trip can be a cause of war. So how do you see uh, this trip while sitting in Washington, D.C.? I wanted to share a few things with you, especially how the Washington, D.C., the, the different uh, forums and different institutions, what they are what they're trying to speculate. Uh, number one thing I wanted to share with you, uh, due to the uh, due to the uh, uh, Biden's uh, failed uh, Saudi Arabian trip, uh, that is that was a, a, a big discussion in Washington D.C. or uh, other centers. Plus, at the same time, uh, losing a midterm election badly. Uh, the, the, a lot of people there's a the, a lot of people they're talking about that uh, Biden administration needed something else, so divert the attention of people. So uh, from uh, from inflation, from uh, a high gas prices, uh, uh, so they wanted to have something. Uh, oh, and they got the best thing. This is Taiwan. Uh, they, they got this Nancy Pelosi's trip. And I wanted to uh, give you a little bit background of it before we go into the detail. This plan was uh, this this trip was planned uh, since long time since April, matter of fact. And uh, this is the first high dignitary trip after 25 years, the last person who has gone to Taipan, uh, Taiwan, it was a, a, a Republican speaker, uh, Newt Gingrich. So he has gone up there. And since 2018, uh, there are uh, 20 trips uh, of uh, high officials done. Six of them, they are done by the during the ad, uh, Biden administration. And only two Taiwan, uh, Taiwanese officials, they visited Washington, D.C., and what the, and I was reading some of the Chinese uh, media uh, outlets, and I was reading some newspapers there. What they are talking about, they are giving a reference of Biden's speech, uh, uh, previous speeches, that we are not, we are not interested in independent Taiwan. Plus, they are saying uh, uh, that that we have agreement with U.S. that U.S. will not in intervene into our internal uh, issues, and this is they quoted that this is said on the State Department's website. So this is like, a, 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 you know, a poking in, in third party or something. But the sensitive matter is this, that right now one of the, uh, the U.S. ship carrier has gone into the Indian Ocean and one of the Chinese ship carrier has gone to the uh, Indian Ocean. Uh, plus, uh, the, the China-Russia exercises, military exercises are taking place. And another sensitivity is this, that in, in nearby Taiwan, the Chinese uh, Navy uh, is doing exercises and using the life uh, ammunition. So these things are, are moving towards the serious uh, uh, the factors. Uh, plus, uh, you know, the why the two other sensitive matters are for China. First of all, there's a anniversary, 30th anniversary of uh, the uh, is coming uh, of the Taiwanese uh, independence from the, uh, the Britain and plus, uh, there's an election going on for third term of uh, President uh, Xi. So they, they, they cannot afford any uh, 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 loss of political e equity. You know? So they, it is very important for them that, that, that Nancy Pelosi doesn't go there. Nancy Pelosi has come in front of the press and she has uh, tried to uh, give a different reason for her trip. She said she belongs to the West Coast, California, and a huge Chinese-American population is there, so I have to go there. Uh, to uh, to support the, the the South Asian or Chinese uh, people living in that district, but right now uh, the U.S. Uh, is is uh, U.S. foreign policy is the weakest in the in the history. Uh, Biden just came from the failed Saudi trip. Uh, the way the MBS has uh, you know treated him, the way he has uh, not increased the oil production. And the way uh, here the Republican Party has used that fleur into their game. And plus, uh, right now, the inflation in the U.S., unemployment, because the, uh, the current administration main focus is socialist agenda. So they are still providing entitlements, still providing 
people uh, funds and other uh, you know the avenues while they are sitting home after their covid uh, every single business in this country is is facing the human resource challenge and uh, a biden administration is nowhere to provide any leadership they are just using january 6th against uh, donald trump as a political tool or against uh, his base a republican party so the uh, it is same thing taking place like at any developing country or third world this is not politics politics democracy is uh, on the losing side not only in the us everywhere so the so far i this is what i was talking to uh, somebody earlier the us biggest challenge is either to revive or just accept the chinese supremacy so that uh, uh, they have to do something to restore the trust and confidence of the american people into uh, uh, in, into politics because right now uh, frankly speaking half of the country believes joe biden is not representing them and joe biden hasn't done anything to unite the country either so uh, either this this uh, divinity uh, uh, nancy pelosi's trip for the to divert the attention from the crisis uh, in the us or it is just to poke china uh, but it is not working in their favor right now the situation is this if she goes there she there the us is will be feeling uh, facing a lot of pressure from international community or if she cancel the trip a republican will be using that as a another flavor of biden administration well well mr tarik this trip is being considered by the chinese as a provocation whereas uh, since you have been talking yourself and uh, it is being told to the media that the biden administration has basically they have voiced their un- their concern uh, and they have shown the unease with this trip so looking at the war in ukraine and the way it has basically affected uh, the global inflation uh, every country beat in europe and everywhere is disturbed uh, because of the supply chain and because of uh, the russian aggression in ukraine uh, and obviously this inflation factor which is also in us and, and in europe what if in such kind of a circumstances uh, if the tensions uh, raise in the strait of taiwan and the chinese military if the chinese military take an action in the in, in the presence of uh, us house speaker uh, there um, in, in taiwan don't you think that uh, china, america will not be in a position uh, to handle uh, any kind of a limited scale conflict in uh, in indo pacific and above all when the, the the russians are already showing an aggression towards ukraine do you think that uh, the america will be in a hot soup uh, because of uh, this if the chinese take an action uh, during her presence uh, in, in in taiwan matter of fact i wanted to add up um, americans are already losing america has uh, america's foreign policy is is on the reverse side i wanted to mention here that Ch- uh, russia a ruble has been gaining uh, strength the best currency in last 35 years matter of fact the ukraine war is helping russia the crude oil and here i want to mention up at the same time uh, uh, what is the another challenge us is facing since the uh, since the russia has blocked the gas pipeline they have uh, you know the the uh, european allies america has a threat to lose european support and they were already losing the support because their uh, european allies tr- does, don't trust american foreign policy uh, for example uh, england and france and some of the o- other european allies they uh, germany they were talking directly to russia so uh, this uh, pipeline choke with where they are, russia has stopped the gas to uh, europe they are already rationing uh, the gas in european countries and this will be another collapse uh uh in 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 europe and, and inflation and industry and everything and yes russia will take the benefit out of it matter of fact this ukraine war is helping russia's economy russian crude oil uh, uh matter of fact saudi arabia has is planning to buy uh, crude oil from them india is already buying matter of fact india is not only buying they are buying the crude oil refining and selling to other people china is buying from them um and another uh, big threat uh, us is facing India uh, is uh, dealing with the Russia uh, in rupees India is dealing with China in rupees and who is uh, imagine who is at loss is US uh, US dollar is under threat right now but here in in the in, in America uh, it seems like they care less because that they have just internal 
you know, like I have mentioned earlier, the Joe Biden administration is considered a third term of Obama in, in the in the U.S. because Biden has uh, no no say. I mean, say so you can probably have seen he hardly can answer press. You know, he comes to the press and uh, his handlers handle him. So right now, this is what is understood in the U.S. that Obama is calling all the shots. And what Obama's uh, policies were internal socialist agenda. He was he he has accepted uh, China as a superpower, uh, so uh, the country is America is completely divided at the moment. And whatever is happening in South Asia, America is losing on it. America, if America, and, and this is what I forecast: uh, if the Russia kept growing the way it is, America will be losing their European allies. They already have lost the ally as a Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia is not listening to them. Saudi Arabia is tilting towards Russia and China. So if, if they lose Saudi Arabia, who is a, a, a key player in the Middle East, if they lose Saudi Arabia and if they lose Germany, England and France, then what America has? Uh, and at the same time, like I told you, America is struggling big time uh, economically, dollars in decline. Uh, and plus, I want to mention a, a, a few other things in, in Europe, especially the, uh, uh, I, I didn't tell you, uh, we didn't mention that other day that President Xi and the Biden spoke for two hours and 17 minutes. And what was the outcome? This was a big statement from China that you are playing with the fire and you will you will just you will you will burn. You will you will be you will have a serious consequences. And America is, is just listening. I mean, say nothing, nothing in return. They don't have any leverage or any political capital to play with. So uh, America is not offensive, they are defensive. And the way the situation is, if America don't revive politically and economically, it means that it's, it's, uh, the next century is the Chinese century. Uh, and plus, at the same time, I wanted to mention a few other things. Uh, America used to be a head of in innovation. And right now, uh, on Taiwan, the uh, Chinese drones, they are flying uh, like pigeons. Uh, and the American system is not catching up. Americans have, have provided them the, the armaments. 2.2 billion uh, of worth of armaments America sold it to them, but they are not able to detect uh, them drones. Those are flying on uh, on Taiwan at the moment. Well, Mr. Sajid, that is the interesting question which arises, uh, and that is that with America being considered as one of the most uh, stable country politically, America is the most uh, powerful country, the biggest economy so far in the world. America is spending one of the biggest money on the defense, more than $700 billion. So then why America is weak? That is a very serious question when, uh, uh, for instance, America has been investing in its alliances for decades. It's not about a matter of years, but it's about decades since uh, 1945, end of the World War II. We have seen the alliances. We have seen the global institutions. We have seen the one of the biggest military might in the history. Um, and they have, uh, they, they are, it seems that uh, they're losing the power. So what do you think that, what is basically causing the fall of this American, uh, American power? You know, this is what I was, you know, I wanted to give you some of the references. Uh, first of all, in American language, there's a, this is called the growing pains. And second thing, when I was doing my MBA here, I was taught uh, life of the product, cycle of the product. Uh, third thing I wanted to tell you, the, the wars are not fought by the emanation or, or your technology. Why, uh, wars are fought by the will. Uh, uh, you know, being supreme, being strong. I mean, say, imagine about the First World War and Second World War. Uh, they, America jumped in there and Normandy beaches and, you know, the stories of bravery and, you know, uh, every American used to be, every American president used to be decorated. And what that means, uh, he uh, would have to prove to the country how patriotic he is. And imagine now, this is what I always tell my friends. Uh, you, uh, now we have a Bernie Sanders, the, the American presidential candidate, who openly admit that he's socialist or communist. Imagine uh, America fought the First World War and Second World War, and the sole objective was expansion of socialism. And today they are claiming we are socialist. Uh, they are not patriotic anymore. Uh, you cannot say I love America in the public anymore. And if you do, the people jump on you and they ask you, America is not good. America is racist. America is this. America is that. And so the thing is this. Uh, imagine about it. This is a situation of Pentagon right now. After the withdrawal and after another withdrawal, embarrassing withdrawal from Afghanistan, they are demoralized. Uh, right now, the Pentagon is demoralized. 
and the current administration, uh, Obama, during the Obama period, let me tell you, the America, uh, there was a one uh, uh, ship carrier, the, uh, one of the, the carrier used to be in South China Sea, and uh, Barack Obama called it back. And during the Obama period, a lot of uh, army bases in the world, they have been vacate, vacated. And then the Chinese, they've been signing the leases on them. So, uh, like I told you, uh, do, this started from a Clinton period. Uh, they were outsourcing all the jobs and they were giving incentives to the people those were outsourcing to China. And then a NAFTA was signed and the, all of the, and the intellectual property theft and they didn't do anything. Uh, then Obama came up there and he was, uh, even then, I mean, say right now, the Joe Biden's son, imagine about it, he's, he's on a lot of Chinese companies' boards. And uh, during uh, uh, Biden, during his campaign, he always used to say that China is good, Chinese business is good, this and that. The only president who has stood up to the uh, uh, China was uh, was Donald Trump, and uh, after that, the uh, uh, Biden was uh, was calculated by Russia and China. So they know exactly what kind of mindset he has. Right now, our current administration they are so calculated by by the in the, in the entire world. Even then, even then, Imran Khan has calculated it. Uh, because they blamed them for changing his regime. Uh, so a uh, current administration is so predictable and so calculated, they cannot do anything. They feel like they are uh, just, with, they are. They even then cannot handle American uh, internal uh, situation or problems. How can they solve the other problems, issues? Uh, and you will see it, to me, is when I was reading this article earlier, uh, it was, uh, I, I believe it was, it was, I was on a, it was on, uh, printed in the Hill or uh, Atlantic, that they, they, they're just using this uh, Nancy Pelosi's trip as a propaganda scheme just to divert the attention American people. They just wanted to give them some new news uh, uh, and divert their attention from the inflation or uh, uh, flavor of uh, Saudi trip. So they wanted to have a news and CNN is providing them. They are creating a hype. Uh, that's basically nothing. Imagine about it. I was When I was reading this article, uh, I was reading since last two weeks. Uh, they are coming up with the, 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 this philosophy that they will shut down Nancy Pelosi's uh, airplane. Uh, America is threatening. Uh, China is threatening. So they are trying to they are trying to create this hype uh, uh, in the media that lo uh, look how bigger this trip is going to be. Uh, so uh, I, I'm not sure. Uh, frankly speaking, I think this trip is will be cancelled uh, right now because America and uh, right now the American Pentagon. Uh, or, uh, or or Congress can't afford any kind of uh, uh, mishap, uh, especially at the same time that China has grown so big, every the entire world is relying on uh, trade with the China. They can't afford to have uh, inflation is already high, uh, supply chain is broken, uh, food safety is an issue, and America can't afford to have an, any other uh, a new drama. One last quick question from you, Mr. Tarar, and that is that what if the trip is considered. Will this make America stronger or weaker? Weaker. Right now, uh, like I told you, there is no respect for uh, American foreign policy on the international uh, level. So they will lose. Um, uh, they will lose the confidence and trust of their allies. Imagine about it. Uh, the way they are playing. Uh, they are playing uh, low in Ukraine. Uh, they are not taking strong uh, stand uh, against uh, Russia. They are not even then giving them the proper armaments. Uh, uh, only things were given just the helmets from the from Germany, and that that doesn't help. Uh, matter of fact, they are like I told you, their allies leaving because they are not they are not providing them any kind of security or any kind of uh, uh, support, either uh, military support or uh, political support. Uh, right now, if they they are, if they don't go, the Taiwan will look very bad. China will look strong, and China and Russia. Matter of fact, whatever they're doing is working. Uh, they are tra they are they are they are attacking on dollar as a currency. They are attacking on the American foreign policy, and it is working. European allies, Middle Eastern allies, they are already on the run. And if the Asian allies leave, so America will just remain in North America with some of the South American uh, countries in support, uh, which is not good for American foreign policy. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Sajidar, for helping us to understand Nancy Pelosi's visit to. Uh, to Taiwan and how it is basically affecting the American politics and American power and the, the dimensions of the internal divide. Thank you very much for your time, sir. My pleasure. Thank you.